G'day everyone. So a few months ago, I made a video about Excalibur's Zen Scripted Tool, which is an app for your PC that allows you to build your own script for the Chronos Zen. Since then, there's been quite a few updates for the app. It looks a little bit different compared to what it used to. So I'm gonna go through and make another tutorial showing what it looks like now, showing what's been added and also how to use it. So let's get into it. Now to download this, you're gonna need to be in the Taylor Drift Discord. There'll be a link to that in the description of this video. If you're new to the Taylor Drift Discord, the first thing you'll come to is this channel here, the welcome channel. Now you need to go one below that, this one here, where it says rules and you need to click this little emoji thing here the little okay symbol once you've done that you'll have access to all the other channels once all those channels have popped up we scroll almost down to the bottom you'll find a section here uh, for the excalibur tool there we go excalibur's zen scripter so you've got download gpc app you want to click on that one and you got the bottom one here always click the bottom one because that's going to be the most recent version of the app so we're going to click that to download it that pops up save it whatever uh and there we go so that's been downloaded so what i'm going to do go back to my desktop that's going to be in my download section here, the Zen Scripter. I'm going to put that onto my desktop and I'm going to extract that here. And there we go. So I can get rid of that. And now I can open up the Zen Scripter and you would be able to do that too once you've uh, installed it. And this is what it looks like. So I understand that when you look at this for the first time, it seems confusing as fuck and that's understandable. However, it is very easy to use. Okay, I'm going to go through all this now. Let me make it a bit bigger for us. All right, so the first screen that you'll come to is this one here. All we need to do with this one is, like it says, match your in-game buttons with those in the script. So you can see here the first example is fire. It's set to PS4 R2. If you use an Xbox, you just click this button, it changes to the Xbox buttons, right? You can see that Fire is set to either RT or R2 if it's the PlayStation one. If in whatever game you're playing or making this script for, if you do not fire with RT, you fire with something else, you might fire with RB instead. You need to come into this list and then choose RB or whatever button you fire with in the game. Once you've done that, you then need to go through all the other options here, ADS, Sprint, Prone, every other option, and make sure you've got those buttons matched. After you've done that, you can come over here. This is the part where you can either choose a title for your script, you can leave it as my script if you want, or you can type in something of your own. You've got 11 characters to play with. The other option is to have a logo. If you want to have a logo, you need to click this button here and turn that into a tick, and then choose which logo you want. If you want the default Zen logo, you can leave that. If you want it for a specific game, like let's say Warzone, you can have it there. Or if you want Fortnite or something, I think there we go. You can have that. It's up to you. After you've selected your buttons and sorted your title there, you can move over to the next tab. And this will be for entering the menu and that sort of thing. All we need to do is just read what it's for. Okay, so you can see here, the first one is for entering the menu. So how do you want to enter the menu of the script that you're building? You can see here, the first half is already selected. So that'll be hold ADS button. So whatever ADS button you've selected here, as you can see, mine is selected to LT for Xbox. You choose whatever you want. First half is set to hold ADS button. You just need to choose whatever the second button is. So I'm going to leave that as Xbox view. Uh, you can choose again, whatever button you like, but I'm leaving it there. The next one over, as you can see, kill switch. So whatever you want the kill switch to be, again, the first button is already set to hold ADS button, whatever that is. The next one you can choose. So I'll leave that there. Actually, I'm going to change it to probably that one. So it's not the same as the enter the menu option. Next, we have scroll between mods. Again, all you need to do for this stuff, I'm not gonna go through every option because it's it's so easy. All you need to do is just look at what it says and then adjust your buttons to whatever you want them to be if you want to change them. So scroll between mods up and down on the D-pad. If you want that to be left and right, go ahead and change that. Toggle the mods off and on, got that set to right and left. If you wanna change those around, Go ahead and change those. Exit the mod menu. So to back out of the menu or to back out of the anti-recoil mod, what do you want to press? Do you want to press B? Do you want to press something else? Again, that's all up to you. The next tab we come to is basic mods. Now you can see here, you've got a bunch of mods that you can choose from. If you want one of these or all of these mods in the script, all you need to do is click on the ones that you want. So if you want drop shot, you want strafe shot, but you don't want auto jump, but you do want jump shot, you just need to click on the ones that you want. It's that simple. When you are in this basic mod tab here, don't forget there is these options here, shot mods. There's also fire mods and other mods as well, where you'll find rapid fire, dynamic fire, other mods like hold breath, aim abuse, easy run, bunny hop, all that sort of stuff. So if you want to have those, again, you just need to click on the red X, turn that to a tick, and that'll be added to the script once we generate it. And I'll show you how to do that at the end. On the next tab, we have anti-recoil. It's starting to get pretty repetitive. I'm pretty sure you're understanding what you need to do here. If you want legacy in your script we click that uh, there's also the weapon profile option you, you just need to read through this part here you will have a primary and secondary weapon profile works similar to cold war and warzone game packs now you can choose whether you want the profiles to switch 
automatic or manually. It tells you right here at the bottom what the difference is between them. So you can see manually, primary weapon toggle, hold view slash share and press Y or triangle and that will load your primary profile or for secondary, hold view or share and press B or circle and that will load your secondary profile. And then we've got automatic. So with this one, the weapon profiles will be switched automatically when you switch weapons in game with the switch weapon button that you would have picked on the first tab. Now, if you do decide to go with automatic, if the weapons do get mixed up, you can see here, resync is available and you can do that by pressing touch paddle view and the weapon switch button that you would have picked again on the first tab. The next tab is for aim assist. So again, we're just gonna pick whichever ones we want. If you want them all, choose them all. Um, um, we've got Polar Aim Assist with the Taylor Drift 21 Shapes. So if you want that, you click that. There's also Sweet Evil's Aim Assist, so you can try that as well. Steady Aim by Do Not At Me, and another Polar Aim Assist by Do Not At Me as well. So if you want to try all of them, put them all in. If you want to use one, choose one. Next is Game Mod. So this is for, um, as we can see, PUBG. There's also an Apex Legends and a Division section. So for PUBG, that's what you've got. For Apex Legends, you can see that there. Pause the video if you want to look. And for the Division 2, there's those ones there as well. Again, pause the video if you want to have a look. Uh, next, we've got special mods. You could, don't really need too much in here, in my opinion. Mainly, if you play on a PlayStation 4 with an Xbox controller, you'll need to pop that one on. Hair triggers, I like to use those. But if you have the digital triggers or whatever they're called, like the fancy you know, click triggers, you won't have to worry. Now, VM speed, not going to get into it. And the last tab over here, this one is for, it's pretty much decorations and the size of the font on the the script that you're about to generate right so you can see here if you want the font to be a bit smaller you can choose that I'm just going to leave it there. I don't really see much of a point changing that stuff. If you want also to add a different color to the Zen lights, you can change that here again. I don't really see much point. Now, once you've gone through and chosen everything you want to have in your script, you've selected all your buttons and everything, it's time to generate this new script. So to do that, we go to tab number two where it says generate and we click this big generate button here. It'll tell you exactly what you need to do. As you can see, open Zen Studio, press control N and then paste the script using control V. So, okay, Zen Studio, wait for that to open. Control N, click in here, Control V. Boom, there we go, there's the script. Now what we wanna do is you want to go file and save. You wanna save this one as maybe new scripts or whatever the hell you wanna call it and click save. All right, make sure you pay attention to where that's saved too. Now that you got your script saved, what you wanna do is plug your Zen into your PC the same way you normally do every time you're putting on a new game pack or putting a new script on. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now I've gone and plugged my Zen into my PC. All we need to do is go ahead and put on the script just like you normally would. So I'm gonna to go to this one here going to search up the, it went to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go here to my downloads and you'll see here somewhere new script. There we go. That's what I called it. We'll drag it onto here, press the play or program device button and that'll save it to the Zen. And there we go. We'll have a quick look and just to show you that it definitely works and all the mods are on there. I can't remember exactly what I picked. I was clicking random stuff, but we'll have a quick look just so you see it works and that'll be everything. All right. So we'll go through, have a quick look, uh, make sure we select the script. So go through there we go. So got it there. There it is. I had the default Zen logo chosen. So that's why it shows up like that. I press my menu buttons that I chose. And there we go. I believe the way the mods show up in the menu here depend on the order that you select them on the app. So if you want anti-recoil to be the first thing that shows up when you enter the menu, then make sure anti-recoil is the first thing that you select when you're generating the script. But just to show you that everything is here, like I said, I did click things randomly. But uh, jump shot, we'll go through, bunny hop, all that stuff's there. Uh, you can turn them off and on. There we go. Go through the stuff here, all the options you can see. If we make it to uh, anti-recoil as well. We've got a few options, modern warfare, normal, other ones here too. We can enter that. We can change the values around and stuff. All those buttons were selected in the app itself. Again, you just need to read the screen. It tells you exactly uh, what you're changing and what buttons you want to use is up to you. Going through a bit more, there's the polar stuff. There's the different shapes. Hair triggers, you can turn that off or on. It's all in there and we're back to the start. And there we go. So that's everything I wanted to go through for this video. Like I mentioned at the start, it all looks confusing, but it really isn't. It's extremely easy to use. If you do have any questions about it though, ask them in the comments. Cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.